It's been the talk of town for days. Another round of winter weather heading for mid-Missouri. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Reek. And I'm Lindsay Papoglia. The forecast for this weekend is different depending on where you live. KMUA Chief Meteorologist Kenton Juicki is standing by with us with the latest updates. Kenton? All right, thank you very much. Look at satellite and radar right now. You can see a lot of cloud cover. It's trying to analyze a little bit of snow here for our northern viewing area, but a lot of this isn't actually reaching the surface. And it's also analyzing some of this just kind of weak, spotty drizzle that we've been talking about. That's really all we're expecting for most of us tonight is some spotty drizzle, maybe some flurries here for our northern viewing area, but it could create just the lightest glaze on roads overnight tonight. Again, this is really falling through some fairly, uh, not necessarily dry air, but drier than we'd really like it to be to have that precipitation really make it to the ground about 75 percent humidity for a lot of us here in mid-missouri and temperatures if you don't look at these this weekend they're going to be cold but they're not going to tell you whether you're seeing rain or snow or anything like that because really we're looking at temperatures above the surface to look at what's actually going to make it to the ground here so that's not really going to help you too much otherwise we are in a storm mode index two from a scale to zero to five so we're not in a three we're not in a four we're not in a five it's not going to be the worst thing we've ever seen but we are watching for some snow and some ice across the area here's a quick look at where we're expecting it to fall and this is by the end of Sunday here when everything's all said and done about two to four inches here for our northern viewing area Macon Sheraton County for the majority of us here along the I-70 corridor uh, really about a half an inch to an inch of snow and sleet I think a little bit more sleet than snow though uh, and a locally two inches possible especially as you get closer here to the north otherwise to the south here including Jefferson City more sleet and freezing rain there and we're looking about a, up to half an inch of accumulation maybe some more ice but a lot of that ice stays south of I-44 I'm tracking this hour by hour here and I'll have some more information for you as well in my full forecast later. Tonight, Target Aid is investigating concerns after Columbia residents say one well-traveled road is unsafe. KMUA's Sharnies Turner is live at Rock Quarry Road with the data behind the claims. Drivers in Columbia are concerned about the safety of Rock Quarry Road. I analyzed crash data from the Missouri State Highway Patrol and it shows more than 90 crashes in nearly four years. And in most of them, people were injured. It's traumatizing. It's not really something that I like to look at. Azaria Foster did not anticipate her experience at MU would begin with such a traumatic start. She was riding down Rock Quarry Road at dusk when the unexpected happened. It was my first day here actually at Mizzou um, last year. Um, my roommate at the time and I, we were going back to campus and we got on from the grindstone end of it and within like 10 seconds of being on the road, our car was flipped over. The car hit a pole and tumbled three times before landing near a cliff. The driver and Foster walked away with minor injuries. I never wear a seatbelt. I, when I drive, I trust myself, but my mom's always saying like, you can't trust everybody else. So. I put my seatbelt on that day, and that seatbelt saved my life. Like, if the sun's setting, you won't see me near Rock Quarry Road just because I would prefer not. Like, I know that it's going to be really dangerous for me. Brooke Wiggins had a crash on the road two years ago, and she's concerned about roadway visibility. I knew that I had two cars in front of me, and I went to go around this turn that I couldn't see anything beyond basically what was on the left side of the road. And so I slowed down to go around the turn, um, and lo and behold, they were stopped all the way up until the turn. And so I hit the car in front of me and they hit the car in front of them. I think that it'd be very beneficial to have ramps on each side so that if something does occur, that someone's car is not going off the side of the cliff. Crash data from the Missouri State Highway Patrol showed there were 94 crashes in nearly four years along Rock Quarry Road and a total of 51 injuries. The data also suggested these crashes are not all happening on weekend nights. Most are occurring in daylight on weekdays. I took Azaria and Brooks' concern to the city to find out what can be done to improve the road. Richard Stone, engineering manager for Columbia Public Works, says the city does not deem the road or any road dangerous. We don't use the term dangerous. He says issues tend to happen with driving behavior, like speeding or texting. That kind of behavior can lead to dangerous outcomes, but the roadway itself is a roadway. Stone says the city's goal is to keep drivers on the road, but that's a hard task because Rock Quay Road is not up to current city standards. Number one thing we want to do is keep people on the road, and if that doesn't work, um, 
and, and they do run off the road, make sure that they have an ability to, to correct the situation without a, a, a poor outcome, some sort of collision. Uh, rock quarry, and, and from that perspective, is, is not as good as other roads that have been improved over time. Um, that's a, that road has not been built to current city standards. Stone says there are no specific issues about the roadway the city is examining to change. There's no funding uh, set aside for any kind of improvements to, to Rock Quarry Road. Meantime, Foster plans to take longer routes. One day, hopefully, I'll be able to drive on that road at night, but for right now, it's a no for me. Avoiding this road altogether. If directed by city council, the city could do surface treatments for better tire gripping. The city is currently working on roads specified in the 2015 Capital Improvement Project. Rock Quarry Road is not on that list. Reporting live in Columbia, Sharnice Turner, Camulet News. President Trump blocked the release of a classified Democratic memo today. It was written by congressional Democrats in response to a Republican document the president allowed to go public last week. The president says the Republican memo showed FBI and Justice Department bias against him in the Russian investigation. The White House says the Democratic memo contains information that would threaten national security. Meanwhile, controversy is swirling around President Trump and Chief of Staff John Kelly following the resignation of top aide Rob Porter. Porter was accused of domestic violence. As NBC's Hallie Jackson reports, Trump and Kelly's responses are under fire. When I heard that story, I said, that's a story. For the first time. Well, we wish him well. He worked very hard. President Trump's speaking publicly about former top aide Rob Porter who resigned after allegations of domestic violence became public. It was very sad when we heard about it, and certainly he's also uh, very sad. Now, he also, uh, as you probably know, he says he's innocent, and I think you have to remember that. But tonight, new concerns about who knew what, when, about the accusations against Porter. Chief of Staff John Kelly, late tonight with NBC News, confirming he'd known for three months about an investigation. In November, I got an update on some of the investigations, and uh, the update was that uh, there was some things that, that uh, needed to be looked into. Literally, that was it. Can you clarify to us exactly, there's been a lot of reporting about the timeline and when you found out about Tuesday night. You found Tuesday night? That, 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 that the accusations were true. Yeah. 40 minutes later, he was gone. That's the same night the White House released a statement from Kelly lavishing praise on Porter, calling him a man of true integrity. That timeline creating questions of credibility. Now, multiple sources close to the president tell NBC News Donald Trump is frustrated with his chief of staff for mishandling the Porter scandal, even musing about possible replacements, including budget head Mick Mulvaney. And while Kelly called the allegations against Porter true, the president did not go that far. He said very strongly yesterday that he's innocent. No mention there from President Trump of the women who accused Porter of physical and verbal abuse, like Jenny Willoughby, who was interviewed by the FBI, worried her ex-husband could be vulnerable to blackmail. He was curious what I was going to say. He really wanted to know, you know, what, what are you going to tell them? And I told him I'm going to tell them the truth. That was Hallie Jackson reporting, and also at the White House today, a speechwriter for the Trump administration resigned following allegations of domestic abuse. David Sorensen resigned after his ex-wife said he was violent during their marriage. Sorensen denies the allegations, saying he was the victim of domestic violence. White House leaders say they learned of the accusations last night. It's been a wild week on Wall Street with the Dow Jones down by about 5%. That's the biggest weekly percentage drop in two years. The Dow actually gained 330 points today, closing about 24,000, but that comes after an up and down week, which saw it travel 20,000 points. The Dow dropped more than 1,000 points on Monday and Thursday. A bull advisory originally put in place in Moberly following a water main break is no longer in effect. This afternoon, workers repaired the busted water main responsible for the citywide outage that started early Wednesday morning. Residents who'd been told to conserve water can now go back to using it at normal levels. With the issue nearly resolved, some residents are saying the city was great at keeping people informed. They've done a very good job. They've used a lot of outlets to make sure people know um, what's going on, what they need to do to um, prepare their water. Um, and I think it's, they've done a great job of, of keeping the city informed.
The boil advisory was in effect for two days after the water main busted Wednesday. Coming up, a Columbia soldier killed in Afghanistan could be honored and remembered for years to come. Create the home you love for less during the President's Day sale at Furniture Row. Enjoy big savings store-wide on dining, living, and bedroom. Plus, up to four years no interest. The President's Day sale, on now at Furniture Row. Stadium Grill's all-new menu lineup featuring local favorites with a southern SEC flair. Get yourself started with some stadium bacon and blue nachos, house-made potato chips topped with sizzling grilled steak, hot melted blue cheese, tomatoes, green onions, and bacon. Have some tasty soup like our signature Creole gumbo with house-made cornbread. Eat hearty with our delicious homestyle southern meatloaf served with garlic mashed potatoes. Happy hour specials Monday through Friday. Stadium Grill with a real tiger's eat and play. Denver Mattress is the place to go for the lowest prices on fully functional adjustable bed sets. They're the ultimate in sleep customization from head to toe. Personalize your way to better sleep and save only at Denver Mattress. Track storms wherever you are. Download the free KOMU8 weather and traffic app. Brought to you by University Subaru. Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler introduced a bill to rename the downtown Columbia Post Office after a fallen mid-Missouri soldier. Sterling Wyatt was killed in Afghanistan six years ago. KOMU8's Olivia Gerling spoke to the family about his death and what might happen next. He was uh, always a little different. He marched his own drum. A soldier. He was always a defender of those that were downtrodden, uh, people that were being picked on. A mother's hero who might now be shared with the community. Representative Vicki Hartzler introduced a bill that would rename the Columbia Post Office on Walnut Street in Sterling Wyatt's honor. Tim Rich, a family friend who also works with veterans, wrote a letter in support of this idea. Not just for Sterling Wyatt, but for all soldiers. Because they're willing to make the ultimate sacrifice for all of us. Um, and, and that's that's very, that's a huge commitment. And remembered one of their Eagle Scouts that made the ultimate sacrifice. Recently, Sherry Wyatt gave a speech about patriotism inspired by her son at a Veterans Day celebration at Boone Hospital. You see your child's coffin come in on those big transport airplane and his body's in this silver metal box covered with a flag then you realize patriotism takes on a whole new meaning she says she doesn't just want recognition for her son but for the other local soldiers who gave their lives i hope when people see you know a soldier's name above that post office you know they may not remember that it's sterling wyatt but they'll remember that it was a soldier olivia girling KOMU 8 News, Columbia. There's no word on when the name change might happen. The bill was introduced this week. Coming up, tough competition, a chance for artists to win more than money. We had a deal. Things change. Jeff, where are you going? To get our girls. Tuesdays at 9, 8 central on the CW. Black Lightning, Tuesday at 8 on Mid-Missouri CW. You learned a lot growing up, like be nice, have fun, and dream big. Another thing you learned, show Mockins Ford. Because when you need a truck to work, play, or have a little family time, nothing beats the number one dealer in Missouri. With F-150s at the legendary low price of just $20,980, this bad boy's got best-in-class towing, best-in-class payload, and best-in-class fuel economy, all for just $20,980. When it trips out, you live. Here's Joe Mockins Ford. Tiger fan? How'd you guess? Whoa. 
Show the world your true colors with Tiger Checking from Central Bank. Collaboration is very important. Um, having other smart lawyers in the office is important. You've got a consolidation of all the attorneys in an office here uh, that are all working towards the best interests of the client. We are in constant collaboration with one another on the various cases we work on. When the client comes in, they are not just hiring me. They are hiring Ian Woods Law Firm. It takes a lot of experience. It takes a lot of time. This law firm is an excellent law firm. At Ingen Woods, we stand for you. The First Alert Weather Cam is brought to you by the law firm of Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer. We will fight for you. Welcome back to KMU News after the opening ceremonies. Take a look at our winter weather advisory here. It's just for uh, a few of our counties here in mid-Missouri. You can see, uh, actually the majority of us, especially along and south of I-70. This goes starts at midnight tonight, goes until 9 a.m. tomorrow. Ice is a bit of a strong word. At this point, we're just expecting a bit of a glazing of ice across these areas. So the slightest glaze, most roads that are treated will be fine, but it's those untreated roads. It could have just some slick spots out there. Also some flurries for our northern dune area overnight tonight. So satellite and radar showing that happening uh, right around now for these light flurries that are possibly reaching the surface again a little bit of drier air that it's falling through so some of it actually evaporating before it reaches the ground otherwise you can see some of the spotty uh, freezing drizzle trying to start to form up at this point as well but again give it another couple hours for that to be here now again we have some moisture to the north we have moisture to the south as well when we are right in between so all this is going to try and uh, merge into mid-missouri here as we head into the next I would say about 12, 15 hours here, more like 15 hours. Uh, so let's track this here, hour by hour. So with our weathercast, so again tonight, some spotty freezing drizzle out there and some flurries up to the north, bit of a glaze uh, possible overnight tonight. Then tomorrow, here's 10 a.m., looks like midday actually, we will have a bit of dry time. So after some flurries in the morning and, and that freezing drizzle, eventually dry between about 10 a.m. and uh, I would say about 2 p.m. By 3 p.m. and onward, that's when we're going to start to see and this moisture really start to move into the area. So here's 1 p.m. still fairly dry at this point. But then by 3 p.m. and later on, this starts to move in. Some snow for our north, some sleet in that I-70 corridor here, and then some freezing rain uh, down to the south of us as well, or for our southern view area and areas south of I-44 especially. And then that will continue overnight into our uh, Sunday morning. Here's 4 a.m. Still seeing this snow out here, some sleet to the south, and then that moves out heading into the rest of our day. It'll be a slow move out, but eventually by Sunday afternoon, we're actually looking at sunshine returning to the area melting anything that decides to fall out there and so speaking of that if we look at our accumulation potential again about two to four inches for macon and sheraton county otherwise locally two inches possible here in this white otherwise for the most of us just a half inch to an inch of snowfall and sleet kind of mixed in again a wintry mix here especially for the central part of our viewing area and then uh, from jefferson city and onto the south of there some sleet and freezing rain less likely to see snow here for this area just a bit too warm and and those layers above our surface and possibly up to about five hundredths of an inch of ice it takes about six hundredths or more to actually get enough of a glaze to cause too many road problems so not too many uh, road problems expected here in this area on treated roads untreated roads could have some slick spots again with uh, with a wintry mix falling down but is it doable to drive again you got to take it slow if you have to go out there um, but on treated roads should be okay for the most part otherwise again storm mode index from zero to five we're just at a two it's not a three it's not a four it's not a five we could definitely be worse uh, worse off here and again it's going to be for that ice and for that snow and mainly it's going to be for saturday night uh, S saturday late afternoon into the overnight again 3 p.m or later tomorrow otherwise 20 degrees for our low temperature tonight here looking at that north winds about 7 to 15 miles per hour then tomorrow again uh, especially in the afternoon and onwards uh, we're going to start to see that precipitation become a bit more steady throughout the area. 27 degrees for our high temperature there. So we are below freezing throughout mid-Missouri all day, uh, all day on our Saturday. And then we're at 28 degrees here on Sunday, 38 on Monday with mostly sunny skies to start off the week. 45 on Tuesday and then 53 on Wednesday for Valentine's Day, 56 on Thursday. We'll keep you updated with the latest. Stay tuned with us in the free KOMU weather and traffic app as well. Artists put their skills to the test with education on the line. But first, your lottery numbers. Good luck.
start fast. Once you're up, you don't have a second to waste. You get ready, grab a cup of coffee, and then you're out the door. Mornings move fast around here, too. Before the sun comes up, we're bringing you all the news that happened while you were sleeping. Live news updates happening now from the Right Now desk and your local traffic to avoid the slowdowns. And I'm tracking weather hour by hour to help you plan. All to get you out the door prepared for your day. Because great days begin with great mornings. KOMU 8 News Today. Coverage you can count on. Good morning, Mid Missouri. So at what age should you start planning for your future? Well, the age you are now. You're never too young to plan and never too old to dream. Whether you're just starting out or beginning your next chapter, we're there to guide you through it all. We may not be the biggest bank out there, but nothing makes us smile bigger than helping our customers achieve success, whatever that means to them. First State Community Bank. Success starts here. Celebrate with some good old-fashioned American values this President's Day at Capital Chrysler. Save up to 20% off on select new vehicles and financing as low as 0% APR. Receive up to 7000 off the 2017 Jeep Renegade and up to 20% off the 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan. Or lease this 2018 Jeep Wrangler for $339 per month with zero down. Join us for the President's Day sales event going on now. Capital Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Go with the guys you know. The Financial News is brought to you by Downtown Appliance Home Center, providing appliances and personal service to Mid-Missouri for over 50 years. It's a monumental President's Day at Baumgartner's with revolutionary savings. Right, George? Lazy Boy recliners starting at $249. Honest, Abe, just $249. And up to $600 savings on Tempur-Pedic. As Teddy would say, Money for Baumgartner's in Avaz in Columbia. Save big at Hy-Vee this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Get $10 off a $100 order or $20 off a $200 order when you swipe your Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks card. That's $10 off $100 or $20 off $200. Only at Hy-Vee. It's a monumental President's Day at Baumgartner's. With revolutionary savings. Right, George? Lazy Boy recliners starting at $249. Honest, Abe, just $249. And up to $600 savings on Tempur-Pedic. As Teddy would say, Money for Baumgartner's. In Avaz in Columbia. High school seniors showcased their talents in the performing arts today. They were competing for a chance to win a full tuition scholarship to Central Methodist University. 23 students took part in the first ever Central's Got Talent. Everyone who competed received some amount of scholarship money for CMU. Staff chose two overall winners to get full rides. One staff member says it's important to the university to support the fine arts. It's just an indescribable experience. And it's so important to show kids that we do that here. We value coming together and making music because it's, it's an amazing thing. Stokes says with the success of the first Central's Got Talent, the staff is already looking at ways to make next year even bigger. Rumors, theories, and cryptic Instagram posts. Today, Michael Porter tried to explain it all. Sports is next. It's Ram Truck Month, so long live the trucks with best-in-class 30,000 pounds of fifth-wheel towing and class-exclusive features like coil-link suspension for a smooth ride and Ram Box storage. They don't just inspire passion, they help it grow stronger. Hurry in for a great deal during Ram Truck Month. Now trade in and get an average $13,138 in total values on the 2018 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. One taste of the chocolate-covered strawberries at the candy factory and you'll know why they're the perfect Valentine. Fresh, juicy, sweet strawberries double-dipped in the candy factory's special blend of milk, white, or dark chocolate. Available now through Valentine's Day. There are romantic hard boxes of handcrafted truffles, caramels, and other confections to wow your senses. Chocolate-covered strawberries, a Valentine's Day tradition since 1974. At the Candy Factory, corner of 7th and Sherry, downtown Columbia. In 2008, Republic Services acquired the Bridgeton Landfill in a merger. Since then, we've invested $200 million to clean up the site and to maintain environmental compliance. We do that while staffing the facility 24-7. That's because we support permanent solutions that are safe for our neighbors and clean up the environment. We're committed to doing what's right, 
That's what drives us every day. We're a part of the community, and we are here for the long haul. Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. A lottery ticket is so much more than a piece of paper. It's hope for a better tomorrow. And not just for players. 100% of the profits from every ticket helps fund public education programs like A-plus scholarships to Missouri colleges. Play it forward with the Missouri Lottery. Do you worry about going to the dentist? Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call the number on your screen and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. From exams and cleanings to more expensive procedures, they're all included with the Carefree Dental Card. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month and everyone in your household can use the same card. Call the number on the screen. Representatives are standing by to assist you. Wake up informed of the news happening right now. And your first alert forecast to help plan your weekend. Join us for Cam U8 News today, Saturdays at 6 and 9 and Sundays at 7. Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, AOMU8 Sports. Well, just the mention of the name Michael Porter Jr. elicits reactions from those who think he'll play again this year, those that think his season is in fact over, and even those that think he'll forego the NBA draft in return for a sophomore season. But really, the future of the program's headlining talent is still a complete unknown. But after the freshman spoke to the media today, we do at least know that there's still a very real chance he returns this year. Porter Jr. first suffered an injury two years ago in an AAU game, played through the pain until Mizzou's Iowa State game this year, but has not played since after what many thought to be season-ending back surgery. Head coach Conzo Martin recently said he wouldn't be surprised if Porter Jr. plays again this year, and today the freshman said he hopes to be cleared after next week's doctor's visit. To me, and how I feel right now, there is a good chance. I think the doctor is going to be amazed at my progress after six weeks, and I'm very optimistic about meeting with him. Well, it's amazing what those guys are doing. Um, and I sit back and I just think, you know, I could be doing similar things. But, I, I mean, it's no, it's no jealousy. It's just I just want to play. Like, I'm just a kid that loves basketball. I'm not, I'm not worried about what will happen if I do play with my job. I just want to play basketball. Um, but as far as those guys go, they're doing great things, and it's fun to watch. As for the rest of the Missouri men's basketball team, they're doing pretty well without them. And will look to win a four straight game tomorrow from Mizzou Arena at 1 versus Mississippi State. March the third annual Rally for Ryan game created to support former assistant coach Brad Luce's daughter, Ryan, who is in a fight against pediatric cancer. The Tigers are undefeated in Rally for Ryan games. In the first two years games, totaled more than $100,000 raised. After coach got hired, I went up and introduced myself one day in his office, and we ended up sitting sitting down for 30, 45 minutes and just having a conversation about life more than anything else and um, <clears throat> talking about his uh, bouts with cancer and and obviously my daughter and he was incredibly empathetic and uh, you know I think if anybody understands what my daughter's going through it's him. Well you don't need me to tell you it's cold outside but I am here to tell you that there was actually Tiger softball play today. Not in Columbia, of course, but in much warmer Tempe, Arizona, with a Mizzou doubleheader kicking off the interim manager, Gina Foley. Right and early this morning, a Tiger pitching clinic led to a 3-0 win over Texas El Paso. Ellie Daniel tossed three innings of no-hit ball, followed by four Matty Norman shutout innings. In the nightcap, it's currently 5-1 Tigers in the fourth with Nash, Martin, and Sanchez RBIs. Tigers back at it tomorrow against tougher competition, number three, Oregon, and 21, Oklahoma State. Mizzou Gymnastics in action from the Hearn Center, hosting the third-ranked LSU Tigers. But the Tigers of Missouri answer tonight losers of three of its first four SEC meets. On the other end, the opposing Tigers have yet to lose an SEC play. And here's LSU's Maya Hambrick doing something that I'm 96% sure I could not do, nailing the landing off the bars. Mizzou's Aspen Tucker brought her best on the vault, but the home team would lose a narrow one, 197 to 196. 
A familiar face is coming home to don the black and gold as former Rockbridge Bruin Alex Afanale will transfer from Oregon to Mizzou. The wide receiver spent two seasons as a duck and is the son of Emmy wide receivers coach A.J. Afanale. Said to graduate in June, he ranked as the second top prospect in Missouri's class of 2015, trailing only a quarterback Drew Locke. He has two years of eligibility left starting this upcoming year. And that'll do it for sports. Quick, what's the first thing you think of when you need health care? We want it to be Family Health Center, primary and preventive care for the whole family. Think of us first when you get sick, need an annual checkup for newborn and pediatric care, chronic disease management, immunizations, or referral to a specialist. We take all major insurance plans and offer discounts for those who qualify. Plan now for good health. Make Family Health Center your first choice for primary care. Now in East Columbia on Broadway Bluffs Drive, Family Health Center, health and care within reach. Now at Menard, save big money on your next project with 11% off everything. Save over $100 on these premium kitchen cabinets. Save over $200 on this Utile shower kit. Save over $5,000 on this apartment garage or go really big and save over $9,000 on this Overwood home. There's no limit to how much you can save with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. At Denver Mattress, we love being your Tempur-Pedic Elite retailer. Partly because 93% of Tempur-Pedic customers love their mattresses. And you gotta love that they precisely adapt to your body, right? Right. Here's something else to love. Special financing on every Tempur-Pedic mattress we carry. So stop in and let one of our knowledgeable sales associates fit you to a temper that's exactly right for you. A better tomorrow starts tonight at Denver Mattress, your Tempur-Pedic Elite retailer. The KOMU8 iPhone and Android News app is brought to you by University Subaru. Download yours today. Going mudding and not having a four-wheel drive Ram or Jeep? That's a bad deal. At Joe Mockin's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, it's Ram Truck Month, and you always get a good deal. Right now, take $15,000 off all new Rams. You heard it right, $15,000 off new Rams. The largest selection in the state, all at legendary low prices. Get your good deal only during Ram Truck Month at Joe Mockin's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on Vandiver and JoeMockin'sCDJR.com. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Love is in your hands this Valentine's Day at Venus, where romance begins. 1010 Old Highway 63 North, Columbia. Online at venuspleasures.com. Welcome back. Here's another look at our weekend system here. A lot of information, again, about two to four inches here for our northern viewing area. About one, a, a half inch to an inch, locally two inches possible here for the majority of us with that snow and sleet. And then as you head south of I-70, more of sleet and freezing rain there. A little bit of a slicker road as you head south. That is our time for now. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching.